What's up, guys? It's Owen and Psycho, and I'm playing some Titanfall here, and I was just uh, wanting to get some, you know, play some more of Xbox One, because, you know, I spent like 500 bucks on this thing and hardly play it. You know, first world problems. I have the system, and I don't have any games to play it. But, yeah, first world fucking problems. Uh, I'm super excited for NHL 15, and... It looks fucking amazing. The trailers just look jaw dropping, fucking amazing. Like, I know, I know that the vertical slice. It's not going to be exactly like that. You know, they make it, they pump you up. to be excited for the game, but it still looks fucking amazing. I'm super excited for this game. But today they dropped the bomb on us, and um, they said that there's not going to be EA Sports Hockey League in the next generation systems, the Xbox One and the PS4. Now, EA Sports Hockey League is mm, the fucking best game mode that there is in NHL 14, or any, any NHL game. Um, you can, like, I spent maybe a thousand games in NHL 14, just EA Sports Hockey League. That's how, like, dedicated I am to that game mode. Just, it's just the, my favorite game mode because you have your pro, which you rank up and get better stats, and your stats, like, every goal you count, every goal counts, every point you get you get every assist every penalty minute just like it's like it's like you're a pro man it, it's like be a pro except it's actually challenging you know like be a pro is fun and stuff but it's just against computers that are stupid um when you play against real people it just it's more challenging it's more fun it's more um enjoy like the the wins are more um like the wins are mean more because you actually beat real people and they get a loss and you get a win. You get a W. But it's not in NHL 15 on the next generation systems. But they have like Hockey Ultimate Team and I don't even know if they have online shootout mode. Which is, you know, that was fun in NHL 07, right? <laughs> it's still fun, but I'm just saying. It's, it's, been, it's been a long time since i played that. Um... But the game mode that they're really selling, I guess, here is Hawk Ultimate Team. And why the fuck not? Because that's how EA makes all their money after you buy the game. Like, how many people spend actual real money or Microsoft points on puck openings or pack openings? A lot of people do. They don't, nobody buys, like, micro, spends Microsoft points on your pro in Hawk Ultimate Team. Or, I mean, uh, be a fuck what is it EA Sports Hockey like no one does that like you just play games you just play hockey you don't worry about your team and shit ah uh, you do you do that's not that's a lie you don't spend money on your team that's that's the thing you fucking find real people to play on your team and make better that's that's what I'm trying to say in EA Sports Hockey League you find real people to make your team better you don't spend money on player uh, pl hockey cards to make your team better now, why the fuck not have EA Sports Hockey League and the next gen systems? Is it like I think they just had something to work out? Like it, like they said, that, um, they're they didn't have it wasn't ready or or something like that, and they didn't want to delay the game, or it, I I just say it it wasn't ready. All right, just say that. So my question to EA Sports is why didn't they release NHL 14 on the Xbox One and the PS4? Work out the kinks. And then had the, this this game, the next generation NHL 15, the perfect game with EA Sports Hockey League. So, EA Sports Hockey League is my favorite game mode, and to replace it, they put OTP, which is online team play, which is, it's still 6v6, but you don't have your character, and it's just NHL teams. Like, if I'm, if I'm a left winger on, just say someone picks the fucking, like, the stupid stupid European team like that, that's not fun like if they if the other team picks a fucking NHL team and you know that happens in in EA Sports dropping games EA Sports Hockey League dropping games you you get the the random EA, European teams versus like just say the legends or whatever if that happens in an OTP game you're fucked there's no way that a fucking scrubby 60 overall team can beat a legend team like, because you actually use the actual players on that team. It's not just the uniforms. But, that OTP was very fun. Very fun. Back in, like, 2008. 
2009, you know, when the EA Sports Hockey League didn't exist. And um, I guess, like, you can play OTP right now on NHL 14. There's going to be, like, four people that's playing that because they don't know that drop-in games are way better to find people. They just, I don't know. There's no need for that mode in this game, or 14, because EA Sports Hockey League is just better in every way. So, I propose this question to you guys. Um, you guys buying it for Xbox 360 and having your game modes like ES Sports Hockey League? Or are you going to buy it on the next generation Xbox One? X-Bone. <laughs> X-Bone. And uh, have the updated graphics, but you only stuck playing Versus and OTP. And ho Hockey Ultimate Team. It's a tough question because I really don't want to buy any new games for my old system because I actually want to play the new system. But I don't want, I just want to play EA Sports Hockey. Like, it's all I want to play. So, and I'm, I'm definitely not going to buy both. I'm not crazy enough to buy both because, like, EA Sports is getting $60 of me every year. That's that's a little too much. They're not. There's no way they're getting $120 from me this year. Like, I'm not crazy enough to give them that much money. And that said it. I'm not crazy enough. You people are crazy using money to buy Hockey Ultimate Team cards. I'm not. So, Xbox 360 with EA Sports Hockey League or Xbox One with updated graphics? I gotta think about this. I'll see you later. Peace out.